here we are. Third of January, I think. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, just leaving the upper Halkwa campsite. It's getting towards three o'clock. Just a short, hopefully short, walk up to the Stanley Name Spur campsite. The river's looking a lot better than last time. So, welcome to 2023, I guess. So today, as I mentioned, I think, head up to Stanley Name Spur campsite. So made it a junction, <coughs> and I head to the, the left this time instead of my usual. It's a little bit warm, it's supposed to be possible showers and blah blah blah, but it's perfect apart from the fact that it's closer to 30 than I'd like. Um, the river's down low, which has made everything nice. So far, the snake tail is one tiger and one alpine, and I'm gonna head that way. Yeah. I understand climbing a bit, but also some decent blackberries along the way, so things could get interesting. That's the South Hapkai River, or South Branch, that'll be the North, which I sort of walked near for a little while, but before I head up, I think it's standing in the river is really nice. So, haven't really haven't moved away from the river yet. <coughs> I'm getting the walking is pretty good so far. Still haven't hit the blackberries. I like these tree ferns. So left the river back up to those tree ferns. The old Queensburg track is heading up. Still no massive blackberries yet. Starting to get into the blackberries. Not too bad yet. Having a bit of a break. Going to change socks from those shitty ones that are wore for the river. Oops. First leech. Hey matey. Oh matey. <laughs> ah fucking mosquitoes. Alright, I may have to put the socks on before the feet are really dry. There's a lot of mossies and some leeches. All good fun. Here he comes, he's coming back. Stop smelling me. Look at him. Where are you? I know you're there, you son. You can just see West Peak on Mount Howard there. So I made it to where the Queensboro Road intersects the Thorn Range track and it was down the name of Spur Track. Punk is just up the way. It's not a bad track actually, Queensburg. Bit of climbing, a few logs falling over. <coughs> the blackberries weren't terrible. So, time for a break and then head up to Stanley campsite. And try not to get lost this time. Uh, so, nearly at the campsite. Up in the clouds now. It's cooled off. It's nice. We got badly lost last time. I followed that track. It turns out. You can see what looks like. Some, lots of people have done it. Maybe it was an old detour. But anyway, the track's this way. I don't know that because I've got the GPS um, track of from last time, and somewhere in there was a green bit of tape from. There it is. I think a little bit of tape from. Um, Geelong Grammar. Uh, Mount Howard, somewhere over there. I made it to the campsite. A bit of wind, nice and cool. Better set up before I get cold. And we'll see what happens. I think it's a chili con carne and I've got some de oh, freeze dried meat, so we'll see how that works. Anyway, nothing to see really. Mount Howard. Got water. Tent set up. Probably be dark in half an hour or less. 
different at this time. So there might have been a chance of rain, but it doesn't look like it now. It's Wednesday the 4th of January. I'm quite foreboding some of the um, spurs I made out. Just finished sort of finishing up, packing up the camp. I'll be off up the crosscut shortly. Just gotta grab some water. Alrighty then. <coughs> up to the crosscut we go. I'm expecting a bit this to be quite unpleasant. It's supposed to be 300 meters altitude gain in about a kilometer and or 1200 meters maybe. But I think it's more that does it in little spurts of rocky bluffs. So that should be fun. Don't reckon we're much more than 100 meters and already passing some. Skirting some rocky bits, but I don't think it's the ones to worry about. Campsite's down there somewhere. So, not quite 500 metres in. Hasn't been too bad. A bit steep, but this bit looks like it might be one of the challenging bits. I wonder how it goes up. Well, it's supposed to be marking tape if it is over the rocks, so we'll see how we go. From here, I'm guessing. I don't see any tape. A quick look around, but there's no other tracks around. So, no tracks. I reckon that might be it. So, end up coming up over there. The track I was on split, and I took one side, but then I made it up. I haven't had any problems. But the main track, which I think the one that split the other way went to, is right here. Oh, I think that's the first rock band, bluff, whatever. So now into the mist and up to the second. Up we go, a bit of blue tape there. Here we go. Now a bit of tape, very handy. I got up past the other piece of tape and it looked like it could go up but I wasn't sure so I walked just along a ledge and found this so it pays just to look around sometimes I guess but there seems to be a lot of tracks so I'm presuming there's more than one way to skin this curve. So I just scrambled up a bit but I'm pretty sure the other way would have been good too because you can see a well used track coming off from where the other way was, so you know, I just follow the blue tape because that's probably reliable, but whatever, if we all works. Anyway, let's keep going. Alright, so left the, the second band and got a bit easier for a short while, and now up here. I think it's about somewhere between 60 and 80 meters and I'm on the cross cut that's in altitude I don't know if you can see right up there this dark shape trees but I don't believe I have to go straight up that I think go up a bit more and then we veer to the left and avoid that last band of rocks at least I hope so yeah best to avoid that it's a trek off to the left I'm taking that so, one I made it to the cross cut that's good. Happy, whatever. There's the main path just there. Uh, view's spectacular as you can see. And we'll head around to the Howquart Valley, I'm sure. It's a more spectacular view. So I'm quite happy about that. Actually, I think. I told myself it's going to be bloody hard. Yeah, but it's fair. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it on a stinking hot day or very wet. And I probably wouldn't want to go around it because it is a little bit slippery with all this cloud. But whatever. I made it up. Now, yeah. can't see shit. 
Where's my view? Still in this. Stronger, it's not much fun at all. I can't understand the next verse. I wait for better weather to come up across the No views, it's no fun. I'm here towards Ben Howard. Here's a famous, well, semi famous wilderness sign for the Razor Viking. Going like I'm doing, I'll eventually get the fucking circuit done in about a hundred different little trips. So, I'm at the top of Mount Howard. I haven't videoed much because there was this video. I've seen sort of as I was trying to walk out for a second, but up here, the wind's picked up up here. That was a bit better down lower. Uh, I'm gonna definitely gonna write this off and just head down. Go over to West Peak and head down. Oh, that wind doesn't do me any favours. I had a bloody rain jacket and I left it because the weather forecast said fine. It would have made a bit of a difference. Might not maybe continue on, but I would have felt better having a bloody wind, something to block a wind. Anyway, stupid me. Head to West Peak. Turn there down. It might be sunny here, but <coughs> no views in the crosscut. It's still enveloped in cloud. So, still would be fun up there. And out of the morning, Mount Thorn Range. There's that last bump, I think. And then through there. Okay, the bump, and then over the back is Mount Thorn, I'm guessing. Just walk past. <coughs> I'd pass this little guy. He got even flinched. Another little couple here just down here. So it's three Yolkan copper as you've seen and one tiger so far. And there's the how far south branch. So I've completed the loop. Wasn't quite the loop I wanted, but it'll do. Ah, so so. Pretty much made it back to the upper Harakwara camp. It's not a bad little trip, I guess. I don't know. Been, now I've been up Queen Spur and finished off the stand of Spur. Anyway. That's it, I guess. Have a good one.